Coach, when you're in the middle of a losing streak like y'all were, especially in games that you know y'all came so close, especially on Saturday, just what is the most important thing for the coaching staff to keep the team together and you know just keep working? Just to stay consistent, and uh, our team, our staff has done a phenomenal job of that. Uh, I've said it a few times, but if you came into a practice or a film session, you would have no idea if our team is on a six game winning streak or losing streak because they've shown up and, and continue to work hard. I think a lot of times when you're losing, people want to point the finger or, or place blame. This team has never done that. It's all about solutions. You know, what can we do next time? What would we have done different? Um, you know, just identifying the reasons that we lost those close games. And this team is just, they're hungry and they love each other. And I think that um, today, you know, really all of our games are such a good example of that. Because um, they've, it, it's not just a losing streak. This, this season has been a marathon for us, um, dating back to the very first game when, you know, we thought we were going to have Hannah and then we don't have Hannah until semester. Uh, praise our backup post player uh, had a, a really serious injury that she suffered in the summer so we started out our season with zero post players and sometimes you can get away with that but when you're playing number three ranked Colorado you're playing Penn State you're playing Ohio State I mean our schedule was not for the faint of heart so they had to fight through that and then we lose Chandler Prater who I mean she's She's an unbelievable leader for us. Um, our kids feed off her energy. She's a great player. So we lose her and then lose a couple more, you know? And it, it, it's just, it has never stopped. All the way to the Kansas State game that we had on Saturday when Emily Ebert, who joins our team to help out with our limited roster, she goes down in the most heartbreaking way. So the amount of heartache that our team has gone through um, it's, it's unreal. I've never seen anything like it. I keep thinking that nothing more can happen, and then it does. But it's our players' resilience and, again, the love that they have for each other, the love that they have for Oklahoma State to play. Not playing has never been an option in their minds. They want to play. They want to compete. They want to win. And I am thankful that on some of my darkest days during that losing streak, my staff and my players kept me going.